Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. It's December, so there is a huge expectation right now to be jolly and cheerful because, as they say, it is the most wonderful time of the year. Unfortunately for many people, this is actually the hardest time of the year. There is a huge contrast between the way people are feeling right now and the way they're expected to feel because, as you know, the holidays always bring two unwanted guests known as anxiety and depression. We're going to talk more about the holiday blues this morning with clinical psychologist Dr. Stephen Ragusia. Dr. Ragusia, thank you for being back on the show today. Thanks I'm, for having me. I know you're busy right now, Dr. Ragusia, because you have to have a lot of people coming in saying they have the holiday blues. Well, actually, that's a myth. Really? Um, yeah. There really is no such thing as the holiday blues, and that's the truth. <laughs> really? You're yeah. telling me something I don't know then right now. I knew I'd surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's true is that um, for us, uh, uh, admission rates in psych hospitals uh, coming in for outpatient psychotherapy, all those things drop pr pretty radically throughout the holidays, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it all picks up again after New Year's. And that's when the real crunch comes. Mm -hmm. um, what happens during the holidays is that people, number one, are very busy. Okay? And they may have problems, but they're too busy to pay attention to those problems. Mm -hmm. Next of all, one of the things that goes on is sort of the development of a mythology, which is that the holidays are going to bring Santa Claus and all the other good things that the holidays bring mm -hmm. to us. And that's going to help us fix what's wrong with our life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we expect that when our family comes in from out of town or when our, uh, the holiday finally comes around and our husband shows up he, who normally drinks too much, this time he won't be drinking because it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. or my wife will stop using drugs because it's Hanukkah and she'll come back to the temple. Um, and um, uh, when our family comes in from out of town that we've been having problem with for years, we expect that things will get patched up mm -hmm. somehow or another. Mm -hmm. Well, so what that does is it keeps people sort of optimistic and looking forward throughout the holidays. Mm -hmm. Then what happens is, is they find out that those optimistic visions are just too optimistic. They're not realistic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as a result, things don't work out the way they wanted, don't work out the way they expected. And then after the holidays, there's this major disappointment that develops in people. And that's when they start showing signs of depression. So it's after yes, December. Yes, that's correct. It's not really during this month. It but isn't don't really. You run Except into well, don't you run into people, though, who do get sad during this time? And the answer is yes but it's most typically a very tiny percentage of people. And what it is is usually people who are dealing with loss during the last year. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, uh, it might be somebody who's had a divorce in the last year mm -hmm. and no longer has their spouse to celebrate the holidays with. It might be somebody who's lost a family member to death somebody whose mom has died, or somebody whose spouse has died, or somebody whose child has died. Mm -hmm. And now what happens is, is they're looking forward to a holiday season without a full family complement. Mm -hmm. And that winds up bringing a great deal of depression. Mm -hmm. And for those kinds of people, what I do is I help them plan a Christmas or a Hanukkah or a New Year, uh, or Thanksgiving for that matter, unlike any they've ever had before. Mm -hmm. So for example, if what happens is normally everybody goes to our house uh, or grandma's house for Christmas, what I do is I say, why don't you all go to, go to the Bahamas for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Or why don't you go up to the mainland and have it be a Disney World Christmas? Mm -hmm. And have mm -hmm. it be in a setting that's totally unique and different and breaks all the old patterns. Mm -hmm. And then a new beginning can commence. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's helpful for people under those circumstances. Oh, yeah. So changing things up. That's, that's right. Yeah. That will help. And then for the rest of us, what I tell people is, is for gosh sakes, just have realistic expectations. Mm -hmm. And don't think you can do everything. You know, there was a, there was a time in my life where uh, my wife and I used to bake 700 Christmas cookies. Okay? And we have... 50 to 100 people come over for a Christmas cookie decorating party. And we have musicians in the house. 
um, and um, and I typically had a, a, a gingerbread house that I'd built. I mean, a big gingerbread house, mm -hmm. um, and that always wound up getting pushed off until the night before the big Christmas cookie party. <laughs> so I'd be up until four o'clock in the morning sticking candy on gingerbread, you know, <laughs> and and I was always irritable, and the, I'd make the kids unhappy and my wife unhappy, mm -hmm. and then finally. I forget which one of us, probably it's my wife because she's smarter than I am, <laughs> said, let's not do a gingerbread house this year. Let's just mm -hmm. let it go, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, so that's what we did. And as a result, it was just a lot happier, a lot less pressure. Mm -hmm. So one of the things you got to do is have realistic expectations of yourself and other people around you and, and try and enjoy the holidays for what they are. Mm -hmm. And that is an opportunity to have a good time and maybe a good meal. I like that tip. So have realistic expectations. Don't expect too much because it might not happen. And then what would you say are your tips for those who deal with that holiday blues after the holiday? And, and for those people, um, first of all, expect it to happen mm -hmm. to some extent. Because if your expectations are too high, they're almost certainly going to be dashed. Mm -hmm. So don't be surprised by it and don't see it as a terrible omen that the next year is going to begin badly and mm -hmm. be bad for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. um, second of all, if you wind up feeling depressed for longer than a few days, a week, then go get some professional help. Consult mm -hmm. with a psychologist and, and get somebody who can help you work through your depression. Mm -hmm. Well, if you happen to be dealing with any of that, you can contact Dr. Agusia. His email address is up on the bottom of the screen. Dr. Agusia, you told me stuff I didn't know this morning, so thank you. I'm you always, you've always told me stuff I didn't I'm know. I'm happy to be educating you. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.